hello. <laughs> I was like, what? I should do a calm intro. Hello is all you get. I'm sorry, that was a shitty ass intro. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Miss Bree Bree Buns in her face, okay? Um, yes, welcome to my channel. I'm not dead. A lot of people, <laughs> that's just random to say, but a lot of people have been messaging me like, are you okay? You haven't uploaded. Are you alive? Like, yes, I'm here, I swear. Um, I'm exhausted, if you can't tell by the state of things, things. <laughs> I've been at work the past, like, I don't know how long. I don't, but I'm working till Monday from last Monday, so. But I got Friday off because my highlight is fucking, oh my God, so much on this nose. But um, I got Friday off because if you guys know me, if you guys have been on my channel for like a few years, like since I started it like two or three years ago, then you guys know August 31st is my birthday and all of these motherfucking trucks with a motherfucking loud ass motherfucking selves. <laughs> no, they're fine. But um, as you guys know, August 31st is my birthday. It is the celebration of my birth. There's a bus. These fucking high schoolers are judging me. <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to SSISD. Yeah. But um, my birthday is on August 31st and my sister actually inspired me to do something with my birthday this year because today the 28th is her birthday. Who did they just drop off here? We ain't got no kids. Uh, you done dropped the mom in the wrong house. Oh no, they walk across the street. Okay, that makes sense. All these high schoolers. Oh, they're turning, they're turning, they're turning. Okay. But like I was saying, today, the 28th, is my sister's birthday, and she is donating her birthday on Facebook to Suicide Awareness, Suicide Helpline, you know, the nonprofit organizations that work within the country and help those in need. So I got on Facebook, and I was sitting there thinking, and I'm like, if I'm gonna make a whole video and make a whole thing about my birthday being donated, I'm, I want it to be to something special. I want it to be something great. Like this is my 20th birthday. This is my coming of age for everything but alcohol. <laughs> but um, like for me, it's like that, that state in your life when you realize you're no longer a teenager, you're, you're a 20 year old. And so I was like, what should I do? And because your bitch is still a damn child on the inside and I just I love nonprofit organizations and the ability to like help people out when they need it um, I am donating my birthday and hopefully you guys can donate hopefully you guys can share it with your friends your family and all that other good stuff to let them know that I am donating to the pediatric Lyme I forgot the emergency fund it is their it's a thing in New York I'm not from New York, I'm from Texas, Texas born and raised, hallelujah, and um, and uh, it is a non-profit organization in New York that helps out with the funding towards children's medical expenses, expenses that they have with Lyme disease. Now, as one of the reasons that this really grabbed my attention, this non-profit organization, this non-profit organization really grabbed my attention is because um, I was a child with limes who did not know she had limes. Here's basically how it went down. I don't know if I told you guys this story or not, but when I was younger, I got bit by a deer tick and it like did a little red dot, and, you know, a little red circle around it. My dad was like, it's a tick bite. We're in Texas. My whole family was, and my neighbors, my friends, they were like, Psh, just get over it. And so I was like, fuck yeah, I'm just gonna get the fuck over it. Let's go. Well, a, a few weeks after that, it was pretty bad. I was in the hospital. I was sick as fuck. I just death, like to me, like death. And they came in and said, you have Lyme's disease. We're gonna help you treat it. And it's gonna be good from there. And then I took the medication and I got what is called post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome. Now what that is, it is where the Lyme disease doesn't get killed off in the body. It just sort of mutates into a more shifty ass bitch. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Like, it's just, it makes it shiftier because you'll have days when you're like feeling great and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking run a marathon. I'd never run a marathon, but it's like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking run a marathon. And then you have days where it's like, did I just get out of four marathons? Like it's, 
it's no joke. Like, that's Lyme. That's P post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome. And um, one big thing is Lyme's will mutate back if you don't get your post-treatment treatment. <laughs> you get Lyme's again, and that's what happened to me. It re-evolved into Lyme's or some shit like that. I don't know how the doctor fucking worded it, but it's some shit like that. And basically, from the age of eight to about 14, I had no idea what was wrong with me. I was sick. I could never really eat anything. I could barely breathe half the time. My whole body ached like it sucked ass. And I just went with it. Cause everywhere that I looked, people were like, you got this, you, it's a fucking disease. Like you're, you're from Texas. We eat diseases for breakfast. Like so much of that shit. And then, you know, now as I'm turning 20, I have started pushing it. I've not like pushing it like, oh, I have a disease. No, I mean pushing it in my family, telling my family, do research. You know, don't just say, you're sick, do research. Like, look out there. And it's not even fully because of me. It's because my sister is having a baby. They're gonna be living out in the country with my dad. Let's say the baby turns nine years old and goes out hunting with everyone and gets bitten by a deer tick and the baby starts sewing syndromes like they should know by then. You know, these are the syndromes because I've had it, but they won't, <laughs> or at least I think they won't. And then, you know, you turn around and you've got like, you guys, I feel like a lot of my subscribers don't fully know what Lyme's disease is. And it is sad because I haven't done my full part to help educate you, but also, I think you should reach out and do education yourself. I think you should tell your family about it. Everyone. Bye, Lila. And I think that, you know, all of the people that surround you, they should know, you know, because, like, everybody knows what cancer is. Everybody knows the symptoms for cancer, you know. Children know the symptoms of cancer. They'll walk into their mom's room and be like, I'm not feeling that good. Okay, here's what's going on. But that's basically it, the gist of the whole video. I am donating my birthday and I would love it if you guys could donate. If you could not donate, please do just share it out with all your friends. And yes, I'm wearing lime green and no, that is not for a make fun reason. Literally, Lyme disease awareness is lime green. Let's get it. Real quick, I do just want to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Share this with your friends. Share this video with your friends. I give this a video a thumbs up if you want more Lyme disease videos. I will gladly make them. Bye.